Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Flinger Foo, and welcome to a new ser um, season series. Um, and we're gonna start off in the traditional way that I normally do. I'm gonna start out the first little bits of the series with a beginner's guide, and then I'm eventually gonna segue into a let's play and see just how far we can take this. I'm talking bosses, I'm talking caves, I'm talking tech tier, I'm talking all that stuff. We will eventually get there because that is the end goal. The beginning goal right now is while I'm starting Starting out in these beginning things, I could rush through it. I could just tear through all the content as quick as possible and be like, you know what? I'm just gonna... Just, I, I'm gonna speed through this area, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna help out new players, returning players, people that have some questions, people that have um, that need some uh, answers to certain things, people that want to know the exact stats of some things, people that want to know the exact numbers that uh, are involved with, say, narcotics, uh, um, narco berries, uh, stems, stuff like that, because we're gonna cover it, we're gonna get to it, that's what this series is about, and also plenty of For Science episodes, because I love For Science episodes where you just start, where you have a question about something, somebody in the comments has a question about something, and then, you know what, I will do an episode and I will find out the exact science of what is involved with that aspect. I love doing those and I plan on doing quite a few of them. I already have quite a few of them in store. But now, in the first episode, we're gonna start out with beginner's guides. So, you just bought the game, you just returned back to the game. Congratulations or welcome back. Hey, and maybe you're a long time player. Hey, that's cool. Welcome aboard. All right, so hey, when you first um, start out in ARC, this is uh, the screen that you're presented with. Okay, you will notice right here we have join arc, host local, options, credits, and exit. Well, we don't want to exit because I want to play. And then over here, you will um, there's a link to sponsored mods if you're on PC. I'm, I'm pretty sure that PlayStation 4 and Xbox does not have this. But I'm pretty sure they also have total conversions. This is for Primitive Plus Official. I'm not going to be playing Primitive Plus. Primitive Plus is one of the only official mods for the game. Which is pretty cool, it's pretty fun. We're not gonna um, play that right now. Now, if you uh, if you want to play multiplayer, one of the easiest ways to do it is you jump on here and you pick a server. Now, which server do you pick? Well, that that is up to you. First, you need to decide if you want PvP, PvE, or, or hardcore, or scorched earth PvP, PvE. Um, if you want PvP, then one of the easiest ways to do it is to uh, um, sort by ping. Go through here. It's it's early morning here on the Pacific Coast, so um, there's not a lot of players on. <clears throat> That's when I record. So um, if you want PvP, you can go through here. You can sort by servers. I would recommend that uh, first off you click this ping button right here, and this will tell you which ones are the closest to your current location, so where you have just the best speed. Um, and then from there, you find which server right here combined with how many players are on it and then you jump on it and then you just have a bunch of fun okay now um, say if you want PvP have fun with it if you want PvE have fun with it me right now I'm going to uh, be toggle I'm going to be jumping into solo because I like solo and the solo game for me it's it's all about survival it's and that's what Ark is about which makes it just so so fun. I, I really dig it. So, we're gonna jump in here to the solo game, and I'm gonna show you this screen right here. I'm gonna briefly touch over a few things, um, and I'm not gonna cover too much of this. I've already covered one of these in my beginner, um, in my season two beginner's guide, and if you have any uh, questions about a lot of this stuff that I don't cover, I cover everything in depth, and the link to that video is down below. All right, plus also I cover the any files, and you will notice people on PlayStation 4 and Xbox, we don't have the top row of uh, options up here for setting up our game. For PC, we have to do it through the any files. If you're on PlayStation 4 or you're on Xbox, you'll have a whole list of stuff right here that you can go through and you can uh, set up your game on PC. We do it through the any file and it's just, you know, apples to oranges for the most part. Now here, the one thing I'm going to cover first is... Um, difficulty level, all the way to max. That's where we're gonna go. And then I wanna make sure I have flyer carry PVE. Um, 
loaded up and I want to make sure I do not have hardcore mode checked because hardcore mode when you die you you're dead and you have to start over so yeah all right and that is also the same for um, when you uh, select server if you select a server that says hardcore mode you have one life when you lose it you start over all right and so yeah with this now we're gonna jump into the game and I'll see you guys in just a bit Alright, this right here is the very first screen you will see when you load into game. This is where you create your character. You can create it with either male or female. Right? And then, um, they also have hairstyles, but you can't pick your hairstyle yet. What you have to do in game is, as you progress through the game, your hair will naturally grow. And then you craft a pair of scissors and you can cut your hair. It's a very cool mechanic. I like that. Um, let's see, do we still have a preset? No. I don't think we have a preset saved. But for me, I like... Let's see, let's go with darker hair. I would like to make my character tall. That's really it. Um, so let's go with that. Let's go... No, no, not that. Not that. Let's go uh, torso height. Arm length a little bit so he doesn't look like he's oversized or undersized. Leg length. And trim that down. So he's got a nice runner's build. Right. And we're not going to be called Bob. It always tries to name you Bob or Joe or something of the sort. But we're not going to do that. We're going to call him Plinger. And you can save a preset. And there you go. All right. So now here's... The next thing that you're asked to do, you're asked to um, decide where you want to spawn at. Um, in the east zone, see there's, and it highlights this little area right here, east zone one, east zone two, east zone three up there. Um, the farther north you go, the more dangerous it gets. I would not recommend starting out on east zone three. East zone two is okay, but you have to remember right up here is a swamp. It gets pretty dangerous up there. So I'm not going to spawn up there. I'm thinking about East Zone 1 for this one. But here, all the North ones, I would not recommend spawning there. They are really dangerous. The South Zones, if you're just a brand new beginning player, those are the ones I would recommend. Starting in the South Zone 3, South Zone 2, or South Zone 1. South Zone 2 and South Zone 1 are pretty much the easiest ones to start at. West is pretty easy as well. West Zone three, uh, 1 is pretty easy right there. I said 1. Really, I did. All right, and then West Zone 2, right here, out on this little island. This is a very cool island, and I think I might spawn there just because. In West Zone 3, up here by this little peninsula, this is a really good area to spawn. But you also run the risk of maybe spawning up here in the, uh, the north biome. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. If you do want to die quite a bit to a whole bunch of direwolves, feel free. All right, but I think we're going to spawn right here on West Zone 2, because I haven't spawned there in a long time. So you know what? Let's go. And this right here, I love this screen. This screen never gets old, ever. I love it. All right, so now we're gonna see exactly how many times we can die and how many times we can live and just how far we can make it. All right, so as soon as you load into the game, we'll, you'll do that little look around thing, which is pretty cool, I like that. But you want to take a look at your surroundings. You want to look around, see if there's any things with big, sharp, pointy teeth. If there's nothing with big, sharp, pointy teeth, you're fine. You can stand in one place. If there's a bunch of things with big, sharp, pointy teeth, you turn and you sprint the other way. Because <laughs> that's how you get away from things at this early of level. But I think we're fine. Yeah. We're fine. All right, so nothing's going to come to you on our tender vittle. So now we're just going to walk up to the first tree, and we're going to punch it. Now, by punching the tree, you're getting thatch, and you're um, hopefully eventually we'll get some wood. There we go. There's a piece of wood. Now we're going to open this up, and then this little tab right here, engrams. Well, first off, we're going to open this up, and we're going to level up. When you first level up, if you're on the island and you're, you're playing PvE, go wait. It's as simple as that. Just go wait. All right, for now, we're going to uh, go into the Engrams tab. See, once you level up, once you click that, here, once you click this button, it'll automatically take you to the Engrams tab. Now, if at any other times, 
after you're done leveling up and you want to get to the Engrams tab, I said Engrams really, um, you go to right there, Engrams tab. And then for here, we're just going to learn the spear and the hatchet for now. And then we're going to close this up. And then we're going to open up our craftables. Open up your inventory and you go to crafting. You go to uh, weapons, primitive, melee. And then now we're going to find out what it takes for this. Now, it, in this right here, if you don't want to have these folders, you can turn off the folders by going like this. Build folder view. And you just click that and then it turns us where all your engrams are displayed here. I like this one right here better, but as you get um, higher level and you have more and more to sift through, the folder option is pretty good. But at lower levels, this is more effective. So now we just need, let's see, we need stone. So we're gonna go grab some stone, right here's one on the ground, we're gonna pick that up, we're gonna open this right back up, and then we're gonna craft up a pick, and as soon as the pick is done, we're going to take the pick and put it right down here in our number one slot. And then from here, we're going to go down and we're going to find a rock. I'm not sure. Some of these big rocks down here, you can't break. Um, some of the really, really big ones, like this one right here, we can't break. So now we have to go find a rock that is a smaller rock, one that is actually destructible, one that is actually harvestable. So now we're going to head over here. And then over here, there is mega piranha in this waters but there's also dillos or dilophosaurus around here on the shore so we want to keep a very close eye out for that and then as we're harvesting this stuff occasionally you'll get what right here metal resource you want to save all of this as much as much as you get you always want to save that stuff and then from here we've got 10 ingram points so i'm going to learn the cloth shirt the cloth pants and the campfire. We're going to need that. All right, so now I'm going to harvest a little bit more of this stuff. And I'm just going to get all the flint that this will give us because we're going to need all this stuff. We might end up having to repair our pick, but I will show you how to do that. All right, now that that is done, we're going to open back up the craftables. And then, see, now um, to craft the uh, shirt and the pants, we need fiber. Now, how do you get fiber, you ask? Well, I will I will show you that here in just one second. Now, you walk up to any of these little bushes that are hanging around on the beach, and you just click your use button on it. All right, you see, we're gathering fiber, we're gra gathering berries, we're just grabbing all this good stuff. All right. And you will notice that while I am trying to be as close to the public servers as possible, I also have some of the gathering rates turned up because in order to do these episodes and do uh, the guides and stuff, I don't want it to take me hours and hours and hours. So everything, the difficulty of the dinos, everything like that is the exact same as the public servers so I can stay as relevant as possible to the public servers but I have gathering gathering rates turned up so where it won't take me a day and a half to record each of these episodes so where I can get this stuff to you guys as fast as possible all right so now that we have all that stuff we're gonna craft a shirt and pants all right that's cool you you're automatically given the note I like that all right we're gonna get that and then now that we have this we're gonna learn this stuff and then we're also going to learn the Thatch Foundation. Oh, we don't have enough to learn Thatch Foundation. Now we have to go craft a hatchet. All right, so now um, to craft a hatchet, we need wood. So now we're going to take, well, we're going to equip this just by double-clicking it. You can either double-click it and equip it, or you can just drag it over. All right, on PC, you drag it over. On the Xbox and um, PS4, all you do is go to it, select it, and then you click it, and then it goes in there. All right, so now we're going to equip this pick again. We're going to go up here and we're going to start beating this up until we get some wood. All right, we're just going to take that all the way down. All right, go to the um, Engrams tab, craft, craft us up that. And then while we're here, we're also going to craft us up a hat. Um, because this right here only takes fiber like this and this, but this right here also takes hide. And you, the way you get hide is by harvesting animals that you find. Let's take that level. All right, and let's open this back up. And let's take this. I'm just going to put this down in the four slot. You can put it in whatever slot you want, but I'm using a mouse and I, that has buttons on the side. So 
and f one and four are the topmost ones. So they're the most easiest and convenient ones for me to get. All right, so now you'll notice that as you're playing this, your food and water start going down. Now, as we've been picking the berries, we've gathered a whole bunch of berries. You can just um, target, highlight these and you can use the use button and you'll eat a whole bunch of those and see, they will give you food from that. So we're just gonna eat that whole stack and then I'll just keep raising up until we get, uh, there was 40 some berries in there. Yeah, so we're just gonna get uh, about 40 some food from that. Pretty easy, pretty quick. And right now we don't need seeds, so I'm just gonna throw those on the ground. We don't need stem berries, so I'm gonna throw those on the ground. Everything else we're gonna keep for now, which is also why we've been uh, raising up the weight because we want to have the weight stat. All right, so now that we've got this, hatchet, and now we're gonna go up we're gonna harvest a few more trees because when you harvest a tree with a pick, you get primarily thatch. When you harvest a pick with a hatchet, you get primarily wood. All right, and it's like with these rocks, the same thing holds true. So um, if you wanted, say, if you wanted stone from these rocks, you harvest them with a hatchet and you'll get more stone. If you want more um, flint from these, you harvest them you harvest them with a pick and you'll get more flint. See that? You still get stone, but you get more of that one resource. All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to craft us up some, we're going to craft us up some spears. And I'm just going to craft up three of these for now because these spears, they break. And they will break on, at the most inopportune time that you possibly can. You'll be halfway dead, stabbing something, and it'll be, you only need to stab it one more time and your spear, your spear will break and you'll end up dying. So always have at least a couple of those in your inventory at all times or else you're going to end up dead. All right, now these dodos. And I, I talk about this in every single one of my beginner's guides, but I feel like I need to uh, cover this. Dodos that you find on the beaches and stuff like this, while they are good, you know, source of eggs later on in the game, Right now, we just need experience. So you are now officially the reason why the Dodos went extinct. Congratulations, have a good day, goodbye Dodo. All right, now when you harvest a Dodo, if you want hide, you, ha you harvest it with a hatchet, all right? If you want meat, you harvest it with a pick. The same goes for all dinos that you harvest in this game. So remember that, meat, pick, hide, hatchet, all right. So I'm, I want as much height as I can get off this guy so I can finish up my armor. So now that we have that, I'm going to craft that and craft that. And I'm going to take this level and take that weight up to 150. Open back up my inventory. Collect, um, equip these boots, these gloves. We got a full suit. We're doing pretty well. All right, doing pretty well. All right, and you'll notice that everything in this game poops. Even you. Yes. Even you. You do poop all the time. In your house, even. It's a thing. Get used to it. All right. So, yeah. And this poop can be harvested later on to use be used as fertilizer. Yeah. And also, you can use it to feed other dinos and stuff that you get in the game. Uh, some of them um, are just, that's what they eat. Like dung beetles. Yes. Dung beetles eat your poop. And yes, dung beetles are a thing in this game. <laughs> yes. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna craft up one of these campfires and this meat that we got, we're gonna cook up this meat so where we have extra food. All right. Now, um, from your inventory, you can come to here and you can just select it like this and then you can go like this or you can take and you can drag this down here and then you can use it from there. Here, right click that to make that go away. Now I just press the zero button and see now we can place this down as well. All right, we're just gonna go like that. Put this on here, bam, bam, and then the wood or the campfires, they require a fuel. And right now we're just using wood. You can use wood, thatch, spark powder. No, you can't use gasoline. It's just wood, thatch, and spark powder. And we're just going to light that sucker up and let that cook for a little bit. And it, it'll tick every once in a while. When it ticks, it'll cook us up a meat. I believe it's uh, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. It's not long, but it does take a little bit of time. So now while that's going... We're gonna come over here and we're gonna take a look at the area and see what all we've got in this area because this this is a really good area. I like this area and it's really cool. There's Tapajara up there. Those guys are pretty cool. They're not very early game mounts, but they're still pretty cool. All right, and let's see what all we can learn because the 
if you if you're just coming back to the game, the engrams that you can learn, notice this, it's they're different. You learn things at different levels. Some of them have stayed the same. Some of them have changed. Narcotic is now only level six. So, but we're not going to learn that yet. We probably should, but we're not going to. What we're going to learn, we're going to learn a slingshot, and we're going to learn the thatch foundation. Because if you're just starting out in the game, there's a few things in order to uh, level up as fast as possible that you want. Thatch foundation is one of them. And the slingshot, well, you need a slingshot for taming things. And I will explain that here in a second. Let's... Uh, crafting, slingshot, we're going to need more hide for this. No, we need more wood. We already have enough hide. So let's go um, get that wood. Coming over to a tree, we're going to beat this thing up. All right, that should be enough. Craft that up. All right, now as soon as this is done crafting, we're going to put this down on our bar. I'm going to put that on the eight slot. Now, this slingshot right here... This right here, it requires stones. Just the regular stones that you find out on the ground. It's very cool. It's un unlimited ammunition. But it does, as you use it, it will wear down slowly. See, if you notice, all of our stuff, this little bar here right below it, is slowly starting to wear down. Now, when it wears down completely, it will break. Or you can come to, you can put it up in your inventory. You can go like this, and you can click repair, as long as you have the materials. So this right here took stone, thatch, or stone... Uh, wood and fiber to repair. It's pretty easy. Uh, eventually, as you get into the higher uh, material stuff, it costs a lot more, but for now, it's pretty easy. All right, so now we're going to come over here. We're going to take a look at our stuff. And what level is this guy? You are level 30. I think I might want to kill you. All right, what level is Bola now? We're going to take a look at that. Bolas are really effective. Bolas are level 9. We're not there yet. Um, let's go take a look at our meat. Take this. I'm going to put this down here on the bar. And then now all we have to do is press that slot. And then we can eat meat freely. And then also, once you, uh, um, when your water goes down and you need to drink, you go up to a water source, look down at it, and click the use button, and you'll drink water. All right. I think we're going to try to take out this parasaur right here. He's going to run on us. So we're going to want to be watching this. Now watch. He starts try to get as much damage up front. And then we're just going to chase this guy. He's going to run into the water. He's probably going to get dead. Alright, come on, dude. Alright, now we can throw our spears. Just like that. But I don't want to get rid of too many of our spears. I just want to chase this guy down and get him dead. Come on, buddy. Get stuck on a rock. All right, let's herd you over to a rock. All right, and we got to watch out for Mega Prawn over here. Yep, right there, Mega Prawn. <laughs> Those guys, they can be quite mean. All right. All right, he's stuck on a rock, but we have to get over to him really quick. All right, there he is. All right, now this right here is one of the easiest ways of hunting is just pin it up against a rock. All right. So now this guy's going to die pretty easily. Come on, buddy. All right. And then that's how you fling a parasaur. All right. <laughs> and we just want as much hide from this guy as we can possibly get. <clears throat> All right. So he gave us a, a whole bunch of hide. He gave us well, a whole bunch. All right. And then standing still is the easiest way of replenishing your stamina. And once the stamina's down and running around, you know, as you as you run, your stamina will be running will be lowering down but if you keep walking it'll slow if you stop sprinting and start walking it'll slowly raise but if you stand still it'll just shoot back up see right there it just shot back up all right now let's cover a few things now that we've got most everything of the beginning basics so where you know how to stay alive let's um break down a few things we have health we have stamina we have oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, crafting speed, fortitude, and torpidity. All right, each of these are very important. All right, let's raise up that again. All right, so now we have health. Health, this is your total hit points. When this goes down to zero, you die. All right, stamina, this right here is how long you can um, swim in water, how long you can sprint, and how long you can whack things. 
as you're uh, harvesting stuff, your stamina will go down. By standing still, it replenishes really fast. Oxygen. If you're underwater, this stat will slowly go down. Um, when it goes down to zero, you start to drown. And then your health will start depleting as well. All right, food, this is exactly what it means. This is your food stat. At, this will all be constantly going down throughout the entire game. It just does. All right, same thing with water. The way to uh, um, replenish food is to eat. We have our uh, cooked meat. You can also eat berries. You can even eat raw meat. But raw meat will uh, um, lower your health as well. And rotten meat will as too. Or will as well. All right, water... This right here is uh, same as your food stat, only it pertains to water. The way to replenish that, drink water. Wait, this is how much you can carry, right? Um, I would, I really suggest new players take this up to 200 as quick as possible to compensate for all the stuff that you'll be carrying around throughout the game. All right, melee damage. This right here, it's, it's a percentage based. Um, see, right now we do 100% of our regular damage. So whatever weapon we have in our hand, whatever, um, whether we're using our fists, a pick, a hatchet, um, any, a spear, anything like that, you will do 100% damage. As you increase this, you will do, I believe it increases by 2% um, increments, it might be 5%, and I don't intend on raising that at all you will do more damage with physical-based items or bows, stuff like that. All right, movement speed. You, um, this right here is your base movement speed. Right now, we're moving at 100% movement speed and then also 100% sprint speed. As you level that up, which we will eventually level that up, you will run at incrementally faster speeds. Crafting speed, for now, I wouldn't even worry about this too much. Eventually, later on, I will show you guys how to do uh, custom recipes. That is something that I do plan on getting into in this series. They are very cool, but they also require, you know, that you have a lot of crafting speed. All right, fortitude. This right here is your resistance to the elements, all right? And also how fast, say if you get stung by a scorpion, how much uh, torpidity you'll gain from that. And I will explain torpidity here in just a minute. All right, um... So fortitude, the higher up you get this, the more um, hypothermal and hyperthermal insulation you will naturally have. So you can go into colder areas, you can go into warmer areas, but that is also determined by the clothing that you wear. See, with this right here, um, the cloth armor, you freaked me out, dude. Just go away. Go away. We don't want you here. I'm, I'm discussing things, all right, buddy? All right, just go away. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, so um, you're coming back. Really? You're ruining my shop, buddy. All right, so um, for uh, the fortitude and the cloth armor and stuff, the hyperthermic insulation and the hypothermic insulation is your natural resistance to heat and cold. Each piece of armor has a different value. All right, some of them have more hyperthermic. Some of them have more hypothermic. It all depends. All right, and your fortitude also helps offset that a little bit. All right, now torpidity, this right here is your conscious meter. It's basically how awake you are. At zero, you're fully 100% awake. Now, certain um, dinos in this game, they have a torpidity attack that add torpidity to you. When you go down up to a certain level of torpidity, you will fall unconscious and they will eat you while you're asleep. Yes, that is in this game. Welcome to the land of dinosaurs. Congratulations. All right, so for now, we're going to run back over here. We're going to go check our campfire. I'm going to go throw more of this meat on the campfire. And there's a couple things I want to explain while we're over there at the campfire. All right, here we are. And then now, here, let me explain spoil time. All right, see on this right here, the spoil time, 14 minutes. That means when that... When this timer goes down to zero, one, the topmost piece of uh, raw meat on this stack will spoil. And then it'll leave us with 19 raw meat, one spoiled meat. Spo raw meat spoils into spoiled meat, which may sound disgusting at first, and it really is. It really is disgusting as it sounds. Yes, it is. All right. Um, it can be used for different things. It can be used for narcotics. It can be used for uh, taming certain dinos in the game. 
and you want to hold on to the spo as much spoiled meat as you possibly can. Same thing with these little black berries. These little black berries, they're not regular food berries. These ones right here, they will give you torpor. See, watch this. I'm going to eat one right here. It gives us 7.5 torpor. Each one of these will give you 7.5 torpor and then give us this lovely little purple ring around the outside of our screen to designate that we have been hit with a torpor-like attack. But we weren't hit with a torpor-like attack. I ate the berry. <laughs> so yeah, um, those ones right there, they will, they, they'll put you to sleep. And they also will, um, when you have dinos knocked unconscious, they will also put, um, keep them unconscious. So we want to hold on to as many of these little black berries as we possibly can, the narco berries. There's also white berries that are stem berries, which have the opposite effect. They remove torpor. So the white and the black berries, hold on to. All right, these ones right here, the blue and the red and the yellow, those are the typical food berries. Those ones right there, if you're out and about and you want to uh, eat something and you don't have any meat on you, those are the best ones to eat for food. The measure berries, these ones right here, while they do provide some food, they're not as good as the other ones, but these ones right here are the best ones for taming most herbivores. All right, now herbivores are things like brontosauruses, this turtle right here, that iguanodon, that parasaur, stuff like that. Things that do not eat meat. If you were going to berry tame them, measure berries is the one you'd want to go with. All right, so now that we covered the basics when you first land on the island, I think that's going to do it for this first episode. So, hey, next episode, we're going to jump into our building our first rudimentary shack, and then we're going to probably cover the first little bits of taming. All right, so hey, if you liked this episode, if it helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate both just as much. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everyone.